Here we are beginning the process of assembling the 3D printed sand molds. <laughs> How are we doing? Buddy? We're doing good. We're doing great. <laughs> Woo! This is the first time we've tried this too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we are attempting to cast extension rims for an advanced steam tractor. This process of casting a complete wheel has not been done in probably about 100 years since they originally did it back in the day. They used to cast wheels. And uh, to my knowledge, nobody's done it ever since. And we're trying to figure out the process because nobody's left around to ask. Put some cordob in the seams. This is a multi-section 3D printed sand mold. So there's a number of sections. Each seam has to be cordobbed to seal so that no iron slips through in the cracks of the molds where they join together. Here we have the spokes. The steel fabricated spokes are assembled. There's two separate molds here. The center mold is the hub. The outer mold is the actual rim of the wheel. And this, this, these two molds are joined. These castings will ultimately be joined by the steel spokes that are gonna be cast into each one of these sections. Each mold have to be carefully assembled so that we don't end up rubbing sand off of the mold, which would float into the cavity, causing sand inclusions in our casting. So we have to be very careful assembling these sections of the mold. With the 3D printed mold sections assembled, then we steel flask it and backfill it with sand just to add additional strength and then weight it down so that the molds don't separate when we pour and the gas lifts the molds apart. Being the 3D printed molds, we ran a 3D magma simulation of the casting being filled, and that way it guarantees us the best results. Here is the actual pouring of the mold. So this iron is tapped out at about 2700 degrees Fahrenheit. This is a ductile iron casting, and we're pouring in um, this outer section of the wheel right now. That's going to be about 1,500 pounds of iron poured into that outer section, and then we pour in the center hub, which is another 600 pounds. We pour the outer section first and let that begin the solidification process, as that will shrink and the spokes will actually come into the open center mold. After a calculated period of time, we pour the center mold section, the center hub of the wheel, and then all of that shrinks together to reduce stress induced from the shrinkage. Here is the casting after it cooled in the mold for four days. We shook it out of the sand molds and here you can see the unground as cast um, with the risers and the gating system. Once it's cleaned up, then you can see the outer rim casting cleaned, connected to the hub by the spokes and everything turned out really awesome. Really proud of the team. Did a phenomenal job on this. This, it was a uh, stressful part to make a lot of, a lot of potential for things to go wrong, but the team came through and did a phenomenal job.